Hi, and welcome to the Chit Chat with Happy Jack Jack podcast. My name is Jackie Wachter, and I'll be your host here on the podcast. So I just want to first of all say thank you to everyone who's been listening the past couple of shows. That's so nice of you. This is my fourth episode, and I'm having so much fun. feels like I'm doing this thing that I meant to do for years and years and years. Um, I since I was a little girl, I thought it would be so fun to be on a talk show kind of thing. And this feels like the closest thing to living my dream. So I'm having a blast and just trying this out. And, you know, it'll be so fun if it goes somewhere. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Thank you guys who are here at the beginning. So with that said, I'd like to also give you a push to try something that maybe you've wanted to do for a long time. It um, feels super liberating to do to try something new and fresh you know and something that makes you feel a little nervous and like it's risky you know this feels like a little risky to me each week I'm like I don't know how this is gonna go and like vulnerable and something about that um having like a new hobby feels so life-giving um and like makes you feel energized and alive because it can feel sometimes like we can get in a rut with our work or we can get in a rut with you know just like life but having hobbies is the spice of life. So I hope whatever it is you're hoping to start, this is your little gentle nudge to go start it. Um, With that said, you might notice if you're watching this on YouTube um, that we are somewhere different than my normal setting um, in the chair with the mic. Tonight we are in my closet and I love my closet. Let me tell you how much I love my closet. It is is so exciting because my whole life I wanted a walk-in closet and this closet um, is just awesome. It is a old sunroom in our house. Um, this We live in an old Cleveland Heights house, um, 1932 I think, and the closets are teeny, 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 tiny. And um, I just was really struggling to figure out how to keep my clothes. And I had them in all these bins and I couldn't find my stuff and it was so stressful. Like I just never was making great outfits because I didn't know where my stuff was. So it was all hidden, it was always messy because it was hard to keep it put away. Um, and then I went over to my neighbor friend's house here in Cleveland Heights and she showed me, she's like, look what we did. We turned my sunroom into a closet and they had a little bonus room that they were using for nothing, which is like what this room is. It was too small for a bedroom and it was cold. It's not insulated. And so she turned hers into a closet. She actually like had construction done, like cover the windows and everything. I just um, <laughs> Jimmy rigged it a little and did blackout fabric on these curtains. It's like what if you wanted to like sew fabric on the back of curtains for blackout curtains, this is it. Um, I do intend to eventually cover those with some lace or something. I put these poles up, but I just never hung the lace. Anyways, it's just been a great, great thing because now I stay super organized and I do have quite a bit of clothing um, and that's the topic for tonight. The topic is a capsule wardrobe, which is like a very small kind of um, succinct wardrobe that might be hip and stylish, um, like of, well, I mean, it could be classics, but a capsule wardrobe is like, you just have pieces you really love right then. Um, and I think those kind of wardrobes tend to you like wear the same kinds of things and mix and match them together versus my style of wardrobe, which we're nicknaming with my friend Alexis, the time capsule wardrobe, meaning that I have like an era or a plethora of eras of clothing um, from different thrifting from being a teenager all the way to like more trendy current pieces now but I have this kind of rule where when I go shopping I try to get things for my closet that I want to have in my closet at least 10 years and if it's not something I could see myself wanting for a long time then I'm not allowed to buy it it's kind of like a rule of thumb and I used to go to the thrift store a lot and get stuff that needed mended or sewn or I'd get these projects in mind for that. And then um, I'd never get around to doing the project. So it's something I'm trying to get better at. I have my sewing machine in here now, which I love because it's easier to do a project. Like if something needs the hem fixed or um, change the buttons or, you know, just quick little fixes, it's easy to do. And stuff for the kids too. Like if their costumes rip and they want me to fix it, it's just always set up, It's just really nice. Um, but anyways, yes, 
Welcome to my closet. I really love it. And I'm going to give you a tour of it tonight and show you some of my time capsule pieces that I have um, chosen to keep around for a very long time and some things that might be new, but I'm going to go through each section and show you how I have it organized and show you some of my favorites. Um, I mean, even stuff in here, I am pretty sentimental. And so I've got like my great it would be my great, great grandparents dresser in here for like one of my dressers. Um, I've got lots of like antiques and things from my grandma and old jewelry from her. Anyways, I've got, so it feels like a very special and cozy place to me. And um, if any of you ever followed Marie Kondo, I loved her book. I was never able to quite master it because I am quite the collector. Um, but she said, if you're someone who does like to collect things, Keep them in a place where you see them often and they can feel special and sentimental to you. And um, a good place to do that, she suggested, is a closet. So you'll see as I go throughout my closet that I have some special things like, you know, paints I or plates I painted on with my grandma as a kid and it's like super sentimental. Or, you know, like articles we were in from Fount and stuff. I like have them in different parts of my closet where I just kind of like see them and get reminded and they give me a little pick me up because. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to start with this section here. It is just my favorite because it's my Newly section. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Newly. It's not an ad for Newly, but I would love it if it was. Newly, if you're listening, you should sponsor me because I talk about you all the time. Like, literally, I tell like 10 people a day about Newly in real life. So now I'm telling you guys about Newly. Um, it is a rental clothing system that is very sustainable. It is, um, you pay, it's not cheap, it's $98 a month, but you get six really awesome, 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 awesome items a month. And you get to wear them as much as you want. And then when you're done, you just send them back in a cloth bag. It zips up. And so it's so sustainable. There's like no packaging. There's not even hangers. And you just zip it up. And then they have the return address label inside. You stick it on, drop it off at UPS, and you're done. And it is just so much fun because you get to try stuff that you might not have purchased for yourself otherwise. Like I'm a quirky clothes person. I really like a statement piece. So it's really fun to get different statement pieces and I get six a month and I get to use them for found, which is really fun because we do all these photo shoots. But then it's just like scratching my itch to shop. So I found that it has helped me not shop as much. Um, I also feel like it's good for sustainability purposes because I'm not like buying something, wearing it a couple times. I'm like buying it, wearing it a whole bunch of times and then sending it off and getting something else. So then someone else can borrow it. Um, and it just isn't like sitting in my closet doing nothing. It's also kind of fun to try things that I wouldn't have tried otherwise because I'm like, oh, it's too crazy. And I don't know if I'll ever wear it. So you can try it. And some of the stuff I think I would love is like meh. And I wear it a couple times. And some of the stuff I didn't expect to love, I'll wear a ton of times. And you can buy it if you want. But I learned my lesson early on not to buy it too often because you can just rent it again. And you can um, just, like, once I did buy, I bought two things. One pair of jeans I wear all the time and I really get my use of them. The other thing I bought was this. And I do love it. It's incredible. I bought it because I loved it. Um, but be it's inside out. Um, but I bought it because I loved it. And when I kept trying to rent it, it was not ever available in my size. And when I finally got it, I was like, that's it. I'm buying it. Blah, blah, blah. Newly's great. So this is where I keep my newly stuff. So it's all organized and I remember to wear it. Um, because if I mix it in with my closet, I feel like I would lose it or like forget to wear it. Um, so it's always kind of like just here waiting for me. And I base my outfits around it for the month. Look at these jeans. Come on. I base my outfits around this stuff, like mostly, and then pull in the rest of my wardrobe as fit. I also just purchased these. So I'm putting them here because they're new. But I got them on the Black Friday sale at oh, Aritzia. 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 You saucy minx. I love her. She has this new store. Like It's like what happened with H&M 20 years ago or wherever, where the world went bananas when H&M and Zara came to the USA. Um, and everybody was just so pumped. Like, that's how I feel about her. It's, yeah, it's great quality. But they have these um, kind of tight sweaters that they make in tank tops for the summer. And they're, like, really nice quality and control top-ish. 
So they're great for my age group. <laughs> I'm 40. And I feel like they're just like kind of suck you in and make you feel tight. And like it just looks like a high quality, but you can wash it. It's nice. They're great basics that go with all my kooky pieces. So steal that from me. That is a fashion tip of the season, honey. These Aritzia tops. They come in a deep ribbed one too. Like any of these, it's a brand though. It's like Babaton, but they sell it at Aritzia. And they go with everything. I love them. Swear by them. Like they're great under blazers, which speaking of, I'm going to move you on to my blazers section. These are like other favorites on there that I want mean to wear. I'm also maybe going to in this section, this is not part of the blazer section. I moved it to here to my, that because I'm meaning to switch these buttons. I got this at the thrift store and it's so cool. Um, it looks like Chanel to me, but it's Ann Taylor. Um, and I'm going to switch these to really nice gold buttons, which I'm very excited about. I feel like I could wear it in the spring or at Christmas or Valentine's Day. It's so fun. Um, I've got my hats and gloves and things organized here, um, like beanies and stuff like that. Um, and then turbans. Anybody remember the fount turban? Holla. It was a fun moment. We did not sell a lot of these. But, come on, isn't that cute? I feel like a queen, like a winter wonderland queen. And I know, like, all the women who would come into the store and try these on, they're like, oh, my gosh. And it's got shearling inside. So this is one thing I always want to bring back, but just full disclosure, not our best seller because not everybody wants to wear a winter turban. I do. Um, also, I have a whole stack of berets, gloves. So it's all organized because I found that for me, keeping my stuff down in the coat closet doesn't work because I like to match my coat to my outfit every day. So like I like to put my outfit on, figure out my shoes, and then figure out my coat. And then depending on my coat and depending on the weather, it depends on what my hat's going to be because I'm obviously a hat girl. I've got my like other hats all around the top of the closet. And then behind Philip, I've got an entire stack in containers. Um, my grandma was a big hat person. She wore a hat every single day and she said it completed an outfit. So I was like, I think she is right. Cause she always looked fabulous in a hat. And so I just started wearing hats. Anyways, this is how I keep them. Moving on to the blazers. Like I said, I love blazers. I like love them on a deep, deep love level. Um, they just pull an outfit together if you need something to put on, but I've got a lot of blazers. Some of them are more basic. And some are more quirky. I'm going to show you a favorite of mine. This is one when I was at, like, for found, I've, God rest the Cleveland Flea. Raise your hand. If you know the Cleveland Flea, it was the best. Um, but we worked every single Cleveland Flea since the second season. And um, it was once a month. And it was a ton of work to set up and tear down and sell, talk to thousands of people all day. It was so fun, but a ton of work. So at the end of every flea, I'd get myself an antique or like vintage clothing treat, um, treasure. And this is one I scored one time. And I'm so happy I got this. I wasn't sure if I'd really wear it, but it's like a tapestry jacket. It's a specialty house fashion. That's the brand. It's a very cute cropped little thing. And it looks adorable with like high-waisted jeans. So that's a fun one and then I've got like crazy stuff like this and I love it again an antique I got at the flea um, I've got like a bandolero velvet one with like awesome cuffs it's kind of rule I go by like if you like have an outfit and then you should have like one really fun piece that's part of it I like to have like 10 fun pieces on my outfits, but that's like why my friends in college called me one step because I'd always like get dressed and then go one step too far because I love accessories. But like, I guess the pop on this outfit would be the fun crisscrossy necklace and then the shoes, I guess. And then you could do like a big coat and hat, but it, um, it's fun to have at least, you can't have your whole outfit pop, but I love to have at least a few pieces pop. But the thing is the trick, if you're going to have a few pops, a lot of people just like to have one pop. I like to have multiple, but it, um, that the pops have to coincide together. Like they have to like complement each other. So let's move on to these scarves and my sewing station. This is the first time I've ever had a sewing station that I just can keep set up all the time. And I am loving that. Um, I keep my fount scarf here to cover up the, um, what do you call that? Blackout curtain fabric. And then this is an antique 
I don't know if it's the antique. It's probably 80s. Um, it's an Oscar de la Renta silk scarf that I thrifted. And Philip calls me a thrift store rat. Like, I could go into an antique shop or a thrift store or a secondhand shop and just sniff stuff out. Like, this, I saw this. And it. I was like, I think we got these at a... Um, we used to do these shows called Country Living Shows. There was this woman who had just truck beds like like um she had like these trailer beds and they were covered in silk scarf bins and you could buy silk scarves for five dollars a silk scarf all 10 or like oh, how many days is that three days of a show and on the last day of the show they were all one dollar so I think I got like I don't even know I brought them back for the fountain team and I think I bought like 200 of them or 150 because they were amazing ones and then I just took you know pretty ones and just quickly like grab them. And then later I was like, I just think this one's beautiful. And it was an Oscar de la Renta. So I love that one. And I'm going to show you another. And this is actually at a legit thrift store. It's my best thrift I ever thrifted. It is an Hermes scarf. There you go, people. 45 cents. I think I was 17 <laughs> and I found this at a thrift store and it has a rolled hem, but I love this scarf. I, when I wear it, I fold it like so and then just double check that you're like Hermes is reading the right way because this one is a little challenging. Yes, it is challenging to know the inside from the outside. It's really nice that way because it doesn't really have a front or a back. That's a really nice screen print when you can tell that. And I don't know if it's always called a screen print, actually. Maybe the high quality ones aren't. Um, you can tell that it goes all the way through. It's like a double sided print opposed to a cheap scarf, you can tell because it's like on one side. So you really want your scarf like not to be like white on the back, right? This one goes all the way through. Is that so cute? It's kind of cute with your hair up because then you can see the whole back. You can do like a, like a bunsy, little bunsy sitch or a ponytail, some kind of something like that. So you can see the whole thing. Giving me a little bit of airplane stewardess vibes but I like it you know I feel like that's a vibe that I kind of don't mind looking like I look dressed in a costume I get accused of that a lot I'll be out in public and people are like oh where's the costume party like I was going to my high school reunion my fifth high school reunion maybe it's 10th I remember this I'll never forget this and I thought I just picked out the cutest outfit that ever happened and it was like this green sweater dress which was very cute at the time. It was like short with like two buttons and kind of like baby doll sleeves. And then it was, and then I put it with, I didn't always put it with this. I used to put it with like a pair of fry boots that I thrifted. They were very cool and orange with braids up the sides. And then that night, because it was close to Christmas, I decided to wear plaid tights. And then I had this like kind of really loose beanie that I wore with it. And this man, I was opening the door to walk into my high school reunion. It was that like a restaurant and the man goes oh look kids it's an elf <laughs> and I was like oh dang it <laughs> so I went to the bathroom took off the plaid tights and then no more elf comments for the night but it was fine so it's okay if people think you're in a costume it just means you pulled your look together really so that's my thoughts on that all right moving on to my handsome husband Philip he gets to say this is the first picture I saw of Philip isn't he cute I saw him and his cousin was like, you should meet my cousin. And I was like, I should meet your cousin. So this was like 11 years ago. But what a hunk. What a hunk. Okay. Now we are over at my dress section. My favorite section. I like all the sections. This one really gets me going. It is so fun up in here. Like I am a dress girl since I was a little girl. I remember my mom would sometimes tell me how to wear pants for whatever reason. And I would just be like, no, like I can't wear pants. I've always loved tights and dresses. They're so cozy. I feel like tucked in and comfy and like flowy. I can move. None of my parts are falling out. I like that. Like if I'm wearing jeans and I bend over and people see my butt crack, that is the worst. I just can't with that. So now we're under the dress section. And when you go into like a time capsule wardrobe, some of these pieces in here I've had for Okay, let's do the math. I'm 40, and this dress I'm about to show you, I got in fourth grade, and I guess in fourth grade, you are 10. So this has been in my closet 30 years, and I made it. It's one of my first sewing projects ever. I did this with my granny, um, and 
because we went down to visit her and my grandpa in Florida, and they took us to all these little boutique places on Sanibel Island. And it was so magical to me, that trip. And this dress was in a window, something like it. It was a quilted dress. And my, um, I was like, oh, that's so cute. And my granny was a quilter. So I couldn't afford the dress. It was like a hundred bucks or something. I was in fourth grade. You know, my parents probably were like, she's never going to wear it. And here, I still have it 30 years later. But this one we made, uh, kind of a replica and it's so cute. It's got like all these different like patchworks that we cut out and actually did quilting. So we like did a quilting kind of project. Like you can see the inside here. We did like a true quilting project and then um, cut it into an, like an, a, um, just an A-line dress. That's so darling. It still fits me. I wear it with tights and boots and, you know, it's so cute. Um, I haven't worn it in a couple of years, so I think it still fits me. It fit me in between Scout and Clive. I don't know if it still fits me. You know, that third one really hits you hard. So, um, but I do love that dress and I should wear it. I should try it on. I'm going to do a try on for you soon. All right, now this one, let's talk about this one. I got this at an antique shop in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I can't remember if I got it when I lived there or one of the times when I was visiting, but I got it at um, an antique shop, and it's a, it is hand crocheted. You have to come in on this one. It is amazing, and I, at that time, I was never spending like $100 on something, and I think I spent like 120 or 130 on this. And I was like, oh gosh, I hope I wear it. Because it didn't come with a slip or anything. So I just wear different slips under it. Sometimes I wear a burgundy one. Sometimes I wear a brown one. Sometimes I wear a cream one. I said, I don't think I have the perfect slip for it at this chapter of my life. My other ones when I got it like at least 11 years ago. Um, I was wearing shorter things, you know, tighter things. And now I need to like maybe get a nice full length one to go under it. But I love this piece. And when I wear it, hold, I'm going to get the belt that I usually put it with. I've got this great belt. Well, I have two that I used to wear it with. Oh, 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 that was noisy. Sorry. Um, this one I got at a secondhand store and it appears to be, I don't even know. It's like a great veg stand leather. And I have had this since college, um, ish time. This is another great one. I got at anthropology back when I worked there and I would wear this wrapped around this dress. Um, but let me just show you how this one fits. I wear this quite a bit, so you might've seen it before, but my kids caught my Santa belt and I love to go along with that joke. I, um, tell, say I borrowed it from Santa and my kids got my Santa belt or Mrs. Claus belt, but I love this belt. I wear this with a lot of stuff. I get a lot of people telling me that we should replicate something like the sip fount. Um, try to do our version of it. So holler if you want me to. We can do it. It's a cool belt. It actually has like here. It's got like a covered buckle. It's pretty sweet. So anyway, I'm going to hang it back up. I've been trying to get better at that. Like when I use something, putting it back in the right spot so I don't have a big mess at the end. So crochet dress. So cute. Love it so much. I will never get rid of that. I, if I stop wearing it ever one day, I'm going to give it to somebody who loves it. You know, I've got no daughters, but I pray one day I'm going to have some little sweet daughter-in-laws that love me because I've been saving them treasures like this. Um, but yeah, this is a great dress. I got it for one of the fount photo shoots one time. It is so cool. Um, what other dresses do you guys want to see? And I could do, let me go back because we're doing the time capsule thing. I do keep my wedding dress in here. Do you guys want to see it? This is, it's really cool. I feel like I can wear this in real life sometimes, but I just, I can't part with it because it's too cool. I swam in the lake in it, so it's a little brown on the bottom, but it was a great dress. I also in the very back here have some of my fashion school designs. This is a dress. Okay, don't laugh because I did this when I was like 21. But this is a dress. I loved this dress so much. I designed it and it had these curvy hips in it, which I was really proud. I threw the darts into these curves. And the vision for the dress, at first I was going to do it strapless, but part of the project. So it was going to be strapless with this like sweet little dipped back. 
Um, it was supposed to be just like a little sexy little winter wool dress. Um, but we had to add sleeves. So then I added this, which is this really pretty like brown silk. And it had really beautiful brown billowy sleeves with tons of um, gathering here in the shoulder like this. And then it went into like an eight inch silk cuff with all these covered silk buttons. And it has this big grand vision for it. And of course, I was always running late because at that time I was nannying and doing school. Fashion school is hard, y'all. It takes a lot of time. Um, and I was trying to trim the excess fabric inside of my sleeve after I finished one. And I cut a giant hole in it. Like a giant, like the like went through one of the gathers and cut like a big hole all across the back of the arm. And so I had to switch to plaid sleeves and it was devastating. And I remember crying my mascara off. I was with my best friend, Kelly, and I just cried and cried and cried and cried. And she helped me come up with the idea to do these plaid sleeves because I was out of my brown fabric. So this is not what it was supposed to be like, but this is super sentimental to me. Um, yep. So it lives back there. Let me show you just like maybe one more favorite dress. This is a great time capsule piece. I'm noticing a theme. I love these kind of lacy, old vintage looking dresses. I got this dress when I was probably 23. And it is like a BCBG, I don't know, something or other. But it's one of these things that's so timeless that I just never get rid of it. So that's kind of the essence of a time capsule wardrobe is finding your style, right? Uh, they all are kind of similar. It's like what I love. And it you find your kind of style and be okay with not changing your style too much. You can really just have pieces that stay with you a longer time. You don't lean into trends too much. You just kind of find what you actually like and what looks good on you and what you feel happy in. Because like I feel super happy in all of these clothes. And that's another part of like really enjoying getting dressed is like having something you feel happy in. So next we've got my pants section and skirts section. I'm not a huge um, pants wearer. I've been enjoying trousers. I feel like that's my version of pants because I don't look, I don't like my body in jeans. And like, I know like maybe some people don't like to hear like, oh, you don't like your body. But I think everybody's got parts of their body they don't love if we're honest with ourselves, right? And after having kids, my tummy is mine. And so jeans are just like a challenge. I didn't ever love jeans. And now I really don't love jeans because I just feel like they really grip me wrong. But I do enjoy trousers. So I'm experimenting with trousers. I need to go through these. My size has changed a lot, like with the kids, like, and different, like, um, I need to like go through my trousers again and again, because some of them I'm just never going to fit into, right? Oh, that's my timer to warn me that I did 20 minutes. So I'm going to keep going, though, because I have more to say. And if if you um, if you want to hear it, I'm here to share it. So these, oh, I'm going to show you another time capsule piece. So this is a time capsule piece for me. It is a mermaid sequin skirt that when I worked at Anthropology, this was just the bee's knees. It came in, and my one friend and I got it with our discount. And it was one of those things I'm like, am I ever going to wear this thing? Like, where am I ever going to wear it? I wear it at least once or twice a year at New Year's, kind of Christmassy events. I'll wear it to like Christmas Eve or New Year's. So it does get, it's time to come shine in the sun. Well, I don't know if there's sun, but it comes, it comes and shines by the Christmas tree because um, that is a fun one. But yeah, like that's kind of how I roll in the skirt department. I love little, little numbers like this, little short numbers with tights and boots is a great look. Um, I guess dressing for your body type is something that I really enjoy. Like I like to, um, a lot of times I like to have the waist gathered cause like my, I'm, um, more like the part of my body I like more than others is my arms. So I'll kind of wear things that are flattering in the arms and maybe looser at the bottom. All right. So now we're going to do a little switcheroo of the camera and I'm going to show you the back side of my closet, um, with my coats my blouses and my chilling clothes and of course my fount bag closet. I'm going to quickly browse you through the rest of my closet. We did the fun part at the beginning. Um, this is my coats though. I love having my coats up here because I can 
really match it to my outfit every day. I'm going to show you a favorite coat of mine for um, whew, at least at least 11 years now. I used to work in anthropology. I don't know if I said that earlier. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But I got treasures from there. Like, it was so much fun working there. Um, and this was one of them I scored. I love it, and I still love it. It was one of those pieces, I, again, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear it. It's kind of crazy. But this this great cape, I'm going to try it on for you. It's this great cape that just gets to come out every holiday season. It's really fun. And, like, you can zip it. It is not functional at all. It is not. It is um, purely fashion. You will freeze in it. It is wool. But it just um, has a giant holes. So I've contemplated zipping, putting zippers behind these holes. But I'm not sure I would like how it looks. Like I might like inset some like gold zippers. But like I'm not positive I would like it. Um, and as far as like other time capsule items in here. Oh, this is a pretty cool piece I scored. At, there were these women who are supposedly, um, legend has it, the most fashionable sisters in Cleveland. And um, they had a sale, like an estate sale once, where this woman bought all their old stuff and then sold it. And I got this piece. It's a, I don't know what brand this is, but it's a Clio made in Ireland. And the cool thing, there was only one of these, but the cool thing about that event was some of the pieces, there were three of. So, like, apparently the sisters would all wear matching outfits, and I just love that so much. My sister and I have very different styles, so I can't see us wearing matching outfits, but how fun would that be to have a sister that you, like, just are like, let's go twinning through the city. I think that would be fun. All right, so that's the coat section. I love, love, love having my coats up where my clothes are so much less switching around of the seasons and just like you can get the exact right coat for an outfit like if you're like oh I need like a black dress coat to go with this outfit or like depending on the weather and then I just keep my like winter coat downstairs or I have a couple of hooks where I keep like a few coats that I'm wearing often down there all right then we move into the tops I'm not gonna really get into tops because I'm not like much of a tops person I have a lot of them to not be a tops person. <laughs> it's funny. Um, tops are hard for me. I don't love tops. I feel like I'd always rather start an outfit by picking out the skirt or the coat or like the pants or the dress, like picking that part and then finding the top to go with it. It is extremely rare that I'm like, oh, I'm going to take this top and make an outfit out of it. Some people might do that. It's not typically my way. Um, Here's some hats. A lot of these are like stuff that my grandma left for me when she passed. My cousins didn't want the hats. I love hats. So I took them all. I wanted to do a big wall display at one point in like my future. I'd love to like make a sort of hat, grandma's hat collage on the wall just for art. Okay, my cozy stuff. Jeans, if I ever choose to wear them, they're there. Again, for a person who doesn't wear jeans, I do kind of have a lot. Um... I should go through those. Um, sweaters and t-shirts and tank tops. And um, so I keep my like sort of like travel-y bags. Okay. Best part. You ready? Love this part. This is my felt closet. I would love to at some point organize these better. Um, but I have been collecting a lot lately. I used to only carry the wolf tote for a while. And now um, I do have remorse when a bag discontinues out of a collection. I don't have one. This is a pretty sweet one. This is my, like, it's like an alligator stamp um, roundabout. We did a special edition collection. I did get my Kinsley. This is how I keep my jewelry. This is a fun story, guys. So they these jewelry boards, it's like a wooden board with, like, hooks on it. It's, this is a business I started <laughs> when I was in like just out of college or in college, I don't remember. Um, but they, I would like speckle paint these boards and kind of do these different washes and stuff on them. And then I'd sell them at craft shows. I'd go to these craft shows, kind of like the clean flea kind of thing. And my mom and I got a little white tent and she'd help me sell them. And um, my mom and I use them and a bunch of my friends I gave them to love them. But like people would come up to my booth and just right in front of my face, they'd be like, 
oh, wow, what a great idea. I'm going to go home and make this. And I was like, oh, it just hurts so bad. But I loved that they thought it was a great idea. But it would just be a bummer because it caught, it, you know, time and materials. And you'd make a bunch of them. And I think I had to sell them for like 60 bucks or something. It wasn't a lot. Um, and some of them are double-sided. You can like hang them in the closet like so you can go from both sides. But um, they were very labor intensive to make anyway so god bless anybody who went home and made one but i do love that at our felt booth people are like oh i'm gonna go home and make this it's a lot harder to make a purse than a jewelry board but i love i love this sweet baby it's a little piece of history for me i was just always out there trying guys always out there trying um okay felt collection so i've got my little stuff up here oh this is a camera i love from my sister-in-law it comes out for special occasions it's polaroid it's fun she gave it to us for her being in her wedding and my banjos, ah, this is a prototype of the new size that if you're listening to this, you get an insider scoop. We are relaunching the banjo for our 10th anniversary in May, April. So spread the word guys. That's fine. This is on the podcast. Anyone who made it 40 minutes into my podcast about my closet, gets an insider scoop on the banjo. Um, but this was the original size. So I have some of the prototypes and this is so heavy. This is like when we first designed it. And, um, it was the one I was carrying around when we were on Cleveland hustles. Um, this was my diaper bag. I love that thing. Actually, no, it was this one. That was prototype. This is the one I carried for a long time. And I just love, I should bring this baby back out of the, of the archives here. It's a good one, but it is heavy. I just put my bottles and my diapers and wipes in there and off I'd go. Um, that was when I had Scout. All right. And then the rest of the collection, I've got some treasures in here. I'll show you a couple like archive treasures. This is a collection I always wanted to bring back. It was Part of the bold collection, the Arlington, but the bold sold best on the tote. I also have a prototype. This was a color palette we didn't end up doing in the bold collection, but I liked it. It's goldenrod and like a cocoa-ish suede and a green, but kind of cute, kind of preppy. I like it. And then, okay, ode to my girl, um, ah, Marie, Marie Kondo. She said, if you've got stuff that like, I'm a little bit of like a keepsake person. This is a place where I keep a lot of it. Um, this, these are plates I painted with my grandma when I was a little girl. And we used to do this at her house. It was like a little craft we do. And when she passed, we found these up in the attic. So I just keep them in here. They make me so happy. I have like some fun things from Fount, like little memories of fun things and things I've spoken at, stuff from the kids, like bracelets they made me, just like little sayings. I like, if you're confident in yourself, it shows and people will be confident in you. And I'm like, oh, when I read this, I'm going to feel confident. So I stick it there, you know, it's just, that's how I am. Um, and yeah, so that's my little purse collection. And then my belt collection, every girl needs this many belts, right? But now I used to wear a lot of different belts. And now that we have fount belts, I literally just wear these ones. So I should go back and retire a bunch of these. But it's hard for me because some of them I really loved over the years. But like, I mean, you're so cool, right? And I'll get that in a second. But like, come on. I've got gold cheetahs running on a belt. How awesome is that? So those are the ones that are going to be hard to give away. Um, but I am a little loyal to my fountain belts these days. And I've got a Coco. She's here. This is where I keep my, like, undergarments and T-shirts and things. And then jewelry I'm going to wear all the time. Um, I keep here. It's, like, kind of easy to see it. Like, this is sort of my, like, um, things I'm not wearing as much right now. But I don't want to get rid of because I'm going to wear them at some point. Or, like, for, like, more, like of a statement piece. Um, but yes, that is my closet. I hope you enjoyed it. It's fun for me to show it to you. And, um, I'm going to be doing some crafts. I'm going to teach you how to change your buttons on your stuff. I'm going to teach you how to hem pants. And if you have other things you want to learn, I can do that too. Um, I might do some like 
home remedies on cleaning your like silks and dry cleaning things because I don't go to the dry cleaner. I might do some like fun things like that on here. So welcome to my closet. May there be many more episodes here. Bye.